unbelievable. The fight against the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network and the people of the Southeast in Annex is um, taking a different twist and turns as Nigerian police raid Enugu Church and march suspected IPOP members away. The question is, to what end is this invasion and um, this particular um, marching of uh, IPOP members in the church? Security operatives on Sunday raided a church on Oweri Road in Enugu State and marched suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra away. In a video cited by the Punch, the security operatives, especially policemen, held guns while members of the church were being marched out one after the other. The church members were seen raising their hands and, and searched as they were being led away by gun-wielding security operatives. The Nigerian police and military have just stormed a church on the Weary Road, Enugu State, molesting over 50 men, both old and young, while marching them to an unknown destination. We are bringing this to the attention of the world. The lives of these men should not be wasted for no crime committed. They were only at a place of worship today, being Sunday, the 30th of May 2021, and no arms were found with them, a source told Sahara reporters. However, the police said 54 persons were brought to the headquarters for questioning for gathering unlawfully at Oweri Road, Ogui in Enugu State. Without making reference to the incident in the church, the police public relations officer, Daniel Ondukwe, in the statement said, 54 persons were seen to be unlawfully gathered at Oweri Road, Ogui in Enugu, and they were brought to the headquarters for questioning. After nothing incriminating was found on them, the Commissioner of Police, CP Muhammad Ndatsu Aliyu, addressed and cautioned them to go home and maintain peace. They all left happily, please. IPOP had issued a sit-at-home order in the Southeast on May 31st to commemorate the death of many people during the Civil War that ended about 51 years ago. But the police command had urged residents to remain calm, law-abiding, and vigilant as they go about their legitimate business, while ignoring the sit-at-home order issued by the IPOP group. It appealed to the people to report criminal elements and persons found for maintaining trouble to the nearest police station. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Questions are begging for answers as we speak right now. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but with all that is being said or with what that is actually going on, or does it mean that people are no longer safe to go about their businesses in the southeastern part of the country? Because it beats my imaginations why people would be marched out of a church during the church service that about people numbering up to about 50 or 54, according to the reports, would be matched out. Of a church. Just because the Nigerian security operatives feel that they belong to the members of the IPOP and the police is reporting that they were unlawfully gathered. The question is, since when gathering in the church became unlawful? Since when did gathering in the church became unlawful? It is really, really saddening if you'd ask me. Because since when did gathering in the church become unlawful? That is a question we should ask ourselves. Since when did gathering in the church become unlawful? It tells you that there are serious issues here and there. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. 
if what the police is reporting is actually true that they've been released and allowed to go back home without any issue then it is a good one it is really really interesting uh, to see that um, things are taking new dimensions in the country and it doesn't look as if the government is um, taking the right decisions on this particular issues as it were but however based on what is going on in the country the nigerian government will do well to address this issue of sectionalization of the country by the nigerian security forces because it does not speak well of the government neither does it speak well of the nigerian police and the army and the, even the government itself something has to be done about this the invasion of the southeast is not the best and it is not good the use of brutal force on the people in the southeast is also not right a lot of uh, nigerians and prominent people have spoken against this particular act but the government had paid no listening ears to them where we have serious issues and challenges in the northern part of the country as in the northeast and the northwest the government does not seem to be putting the same effort it is putting in the southeast military wise into those particular areas and that raises eyebrows and questions as to what exactly could be the agenda that this government is actually working on or uh, pushing uh, out well it is sad and unfortunate that is just the truth of the matter it is sad and unfortunate but however we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold it really does not matter what the challenge is would be at the end of the day but the truth is that what the government seems to be doing the steps the government seems to be taking right now is further pushing the people in the southeast to uh continue or begin to see how they can address issues by themselves and they are also enforcing the mindset that they truly deserve the Biafra agitation or the Biafra freedom that they seek. And this is not good for the Nigerian government at all. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now